Hello. It's good to see you. Today we're going to be looking at the keto box that I received for October. I haven't looked at it yet. All I've done is that I've cut the seal on the underside of this box that holds it closed, but I haven't looked inside here yet. Um, but before we get into this, I want to go over a few things from last month's keto box and the little notes I made about each of the items, and I'll let you know what I think of those items. So let me get this out of the way. Okay, the first item I have here is from Good To Go. This is a vanilla almond snack bar. It is keto certified, has two grams of sugar, 3 grams of net carbs, and 7 grams of fiber. Typically, I am not a big fan of vanilla-flavored things, but this was actually really nice. Um, it had a nice flavor. I just had this a couple of days ago, and it had a good texture to it. It kind of tastes like yellow cake, you know, when you make just the yellow cake mix. It tastes kind of like that. The texture was really soft. It wasn't chewy or hard or anything. I also thought it was quite filling. I ate it mid-morning and it kept me from getting hungry again for about two hours, which was really nice. And it is also not greasy. A lot of these um, low-carb bars are greasy just because it's kind of unavoidable. But this one was not greasy, which was really nice. So this is good to go. The vanilla almond snack bar. And I thought it was quite a bit more filling than most little snack bars like this. It's not very big at all, but very, very tasty and very filling. And the next one is from Tomer Kosher. This was a kosher beef stick. Um, I've tried quite a few beef sticks in the keto boxes that I've received. They send me beef sticks pretty often. I think this was the best one I've tried yet, and I've tried probably six, at least a half a dozen, six or seven beef sticks. It's not too tough, and it has a great flavor. I was really impressed with this beef stick. It, um, it wasn't super spicy, but it did have a really nice flavor to it. This was the original, and it has a smoke flavor added to it. It's also uh, gluten-free and has no nitrates added. Yeah, and it is kosher. I also like um, Hebrew National hot dogs, which are also kosher. I think they're really good. So this is Tomer Kosher, the kosher beef stick original flavor. It was really good. I liked it a lot. And then this one, I have sort of a meh face on it. These are from Sun Biotics. Organic Gourmet Probiotic Snacks. These are cheesy almonds. Organic, raw, gluten-free, and non-dairy. It says that they are a light and crispy super snack. Soaked and sprouted probiotic enhanced and mineral infused almonds. Um, I kind of thought they were just okay. Um, they weren't bad, but they weren't great either, and I didn't think they had much flavor to them. They're coated in this um, powdery substance, but it didn't have much flavor. They're called cheesy almonds, but it, it just tasted like almonds with some powder on them, basically. So I have my little neutral face here. <laughs> they weren't bad. 
but they weren't great either. <laughs> this one was cool. This is Curly Girls Candy. These were really good. I liked these. Now these little candies here are sugar free and they're chocolate caramel flavor. Now just because something is sugar free doesn't mean it's low carb. You really still have to look at it. This is maltitol free, gluten free, 100% indulgence, 0% guilt. Um, they are a very nice, chewy, chocolatey treat. They had a very, very nice chocolate fa uh, flavor. They were a little greasy on your fingers. Um, just keep that in mind. They um, left a film on my fingers. Um, let's see. There were two servings in here, so one packet of this is not one serving. Um, but it was it was good. I thought it was a very nice little treat if you're doing the low carb diet and you want just a little bit of a chocolatey treat. These curly girls candies were really good. So this was the chocolate caramel flavor. And they are a little greasy, but that's the only downside to them. Okay, the name of this is just, <laughs> wow, super fat. These are amazing nut butters. This was the macadamia coconut flavor. And it's a nut butter snack for super fuel to support metabolism and brain function. It has plant fats, no sugar added, 100% vegan, and it's good for the keto and paleo diet. Um... Personally, I did not like this at all. I tried a little bit of it. You can see that most of it is still in here. I, I could not finish this. Um, it's super greasy, obviously. I mean, it's, you know, it's going to have a lot of um, plant fats in it. Um, it's really greasy. I just could not handle the taste of it. Um, I just ate a little bit of it. And I felt like I would be sick if I ate the rest of it. It's just not for me. Um, I really didn't like the way it tasted. Um, it, it tastes kind of like peanut butter a little bit. It's like super, super greasy peanut butter. Um, if you like super greasy peanut butter, you might like this. It says it's a super fuel, and I bet it is. It's a delicious blend of nuts and functional ingredients. It's a high-density energy source and is the perfect on-the-go fuel. Enjoy first thing in the morning as a tasty midday meal replacement or throw in your gym bag for the ultimate workout fuel. I tried this midday one day and I just... I, I couldn't eat it. I just I couldn't stand the way it tasted. It was so incredibly greasy. I made sure to mix it thoroughly, you know, because of course it settles a little bit so you can kind of squish it and mix it up. But no matter how much I did this and shook it and turned it upside down, and it was just consistently super greasy and I didn't like it. I'm sorry. Then we have Quavos. Um, these are sour cream and onion flavored chips that are made from egg whites. I really like this concept. If you're doing a low carb diet but you miss your chips, this could be a good option to try. And again, they're from Quavos. And they do have different flavors. But this is just sour cream and onion. Um, it, they are very nice and crunchy. They, they have a nice, um, they have definitely a nice crunch. They're gluten-free, lactose-free, soy-free, keto-friendly, made from egg whites, and have a, a good source of protein and fiber. They have healthy fats from avocados, ghee, and chia seeds. Um, I did think they had a nice flavor, but they, for me, they left this kind of bland after.
aftertaste in my mouth that I really didn't like at all. Um, it kind of ruined it for me. The aftertaste was so bad. It's just this weird, super strange aftertaste. This was super bland. It's like you have, um, it's like you have paste in your mouth. Like you, somebody put some glue in your mouth or something. It's really yucky. Um, while you're eating them, they taste great. But then after that, you need something to chase it with. I don't know what, maybe some cheese or something to kind of kill that aftertaste. But here's what they look like, these little things. Um, I might try another flavor and see if maybe I like it better, but if it's made the same way, it's probably going to have that same bland aftertaste. And then this, I think this was my favorite thing in the entire box last month. This is from Nui. I may be pronouncing that wrong. Peanut, it's a um, peanut butter cookie. There were two cookies in here. They're non-GMO and only have two grams of sugar. Um, they are gluten-free, no added sugar, no artificial sweeteners, no GMOs, low glycemic and ketogenic. And this was, I think, my favorite thing. It, they had a really nice peanut butter flavor. Really good peanut butter cookies. They tasted a lot like the ones my grandmother used to make. They are a little crumbly, um, but, you know, a lot of peanut butter cookies are. They just crumble, but they taste just as good whether they're crumbled or not. And they're not greasy. That was another good thing, is that they're not greasy. So, I... I was a big fan of these. I'm probably going to order some more of these. And the last thing I have from last month's Keto Box is Virgil's All Natural Zero Sugar Vanilla Cream Soda. Um, I did not like it, but I have to say, I don't like cream, um, cream soda. I don't like um, root beer or cream soda. So I'm not really the right person to ask. So I had my older son try it. He loves this kind of stuff. And he said it was really good. He wanted me to get more. He said it was really, really good. <clears throat> Even though it's zero sugar, he still said it, it tasted great. So if you like cream soda, it might be worth trying Virgil's All Natural Zero Sugar Cream Soda. Vanilla cream. Um, let me see. Okay, yeah. It has, um, 18 grams of erythritol, and that accounts for the 18 grams of carbs in there. So, it might be worth a try if you like this kind of thing. So, in my opinion, doesn't really count, because I don't like cream soda. <laughs> okay, now that's the last thing for last month. Now we can take a look at this month. Here we have the box for October. Haven't looked at it yet. I'm just going to slide it to the side. Open it up. And just move it over so we have some space to work. I have my little card that tells me about it. I always have these little materials in here. Slim Fast Keto. One little note about this. I tried the Slim Fast Keto Shakes. I really did not like them. I thought they tasted weird. Now that is just my opinion. Although I do like their Fat Bomb, the little Fat Bomb uh, peanut butter cups. Those are really good. But I did not like their Keto Shakes. But again, that's just me and everybody likes different things. It looks like Zone Perfect also has Keto Shakes. Hmm, I haven't seen those. I'll have to check that out. All right, maybe, let me move this out of the way. Now, we will just take things from the top. Okay, the first thing we have is Bon Moor Biltong made with Irish beef. Oh, cool. 31 grams of protein per pack. This is a 2 ounce package. 
and it does look like it has the zippered seal, which is good. It has no preservatives, and zero grams of added sugar per serving. Beef raised on Irish pastures. Oh, that's cool. With all natural ingredients. Traditional biltong. Irish tradition meets South African inspiration. We hang thick strips of spiced Irish beef and dry them for several days at room temperature. Finally, we cross-slice these strips to make delicious morsels of biltong. To make the best beef, you have to start with the best grass, and what better place than Ireland to grow it? The mild climate creates perfect conditions for growing grass and for cattle to graze in pasture. No wonder cattle have been raised there for thousands of years and are central figures in Irish legends. Today, Irish cattle live happily amid the lush grasslands of family farms that have been passed down through the generations. The result? Top quality, tasty and tender beef that is responsibly produced. This wonderful product source is then seasoned and flavored with delicious natural ingredients to produce balm more biltong. And the ingredients are just beef, apple cider vinegar, water, sea salt, dried garlic, black pepper, paprika, and coriander. And it's manufactured in the USA, it looks like. For Balmore Holdings LLC in Ridgewood, New Jersey. So this container is two servings. So you have a one ounce serving. Um, let's see. No carbs at all. It's pretty awesome. I've tried several different types of biltong and it's, it's really good. It's not really like beef jerky, it's more, um, the texture's different. But it's just like shredded beef, basically. And um, I'm really looking forward to trying this one. It's a really nice snack if you're, uh, if you're low carb, it's um, a really nice snack. Oh, we have some more peanut butter cookies. These look dark, they almost look like molasses cookies. Satisfy your sweet tooth with fat snacks cookies. It has only one gram of net carbs, is keto and sugar free. <laughs> At the bottom, there's a little warning. In the green section, it says may attract cookie monsters. Well, that's me. I definitely have a sweet tooth. It may cause jealousy. <laughs> it has nine grams of healthy fat. Now there are two servings in here, so one cookie is considered one serving. It's quite heavy. It's 1.4 ounces for just these two cookies. I think we may try this. This one is the one I think I want to try. If you hear crows in the background, it's, well, it's crows. They're, they're yelling at each other outside. <laughs> yeah, we'll try this, I think, unless we find something that looks a little more intriguing. Um, let's see. Here we have, from Zone Perfect, one of these keto drinks. It is butter coffee. Um, I guess it's the flavor of butter and coffee. To burn body fat, it has 75% fat, 20% protein, and 5% carbs as a percent of calories. So I guess this is what it looks like. If you blend butter and coffee, I guess you get this. It's made with MCTs. It has no artificial sweeteners, no artificial flavors or colors, no gluten, and no soy. It is designed to support a ketogenic diet, not for use with a standard diet. So, of course, just this one container is 11 ounces. That is one serving. And I am not a big fan of coffee or coffee flavored stuff, but I'll give it a try. I will try it, but I will mention again next month that you have to remember I don't like coffee or co coffee flavored things, so my opinion may not mean much. <laughs> oh, oh, 
Oh, this looks good. Now this brand we have seen before, Primal Gnomes. And I did end up buying some of their chocolate flavored mug cake. It's really good. This is a pumpkin spice flavored mug cake. You can get keto cake in just one minute. And it only has four grams of net carbs. It's gluten free, keto, paleo, and low carb. And for this, you're going to need uh, two tablespoons of butter or oil, and one egg, and then one mug, and a pouch cake mix. And you just put everything in your mug, stir it thoroughly, and heat it for a minute or a minute and a half. I do find with my microwave, about a minute and 10 or 15 seconds works the best. They use allulose in their products, which is F which the FDA requires to be listed as an added sugar. It's not metabolized by your body, so it is subtracted when determining net carbs. So I'm really looking forward to trying the pumpkin spice mug cake. I really like their chocolate flavor. I haven't tried any other flavors of their mug cakes, so I'm definitely looking forward to trying that one. What's this thing here? Oh, another beef stick. They love to send me these things. This is about the same size as the one I tried last month. This is the original smoked beef stick, crafted from 100% grass-fed beef from land-crafted food. Uh, it's distributed uh, by Grayson Natural Farms in Independence, Virginia. I know where that is. Well, I know where Independence, Virginia is. When I was a kid, my dad had a friend who lived in Independence, and he had a cabin up there, and sometimes we would go spend the weekend in the, in the cabin up there. It was a lot of fun. So, land-crafted food. This is a 0.9 ounce beef stick. So I'm looking forward to trying that, although it's going to have to be really good to outdo the one from last month. Okay. Um, oh, this is... Wow. Let me see. It's a cake. It's a smart cake. Well, there are two smart cakes in here. And it looks like they're lemon flavored, keto friendly smart cake, beyond gluten free. It only has 38 calories, no starch, no sugar, 5 grams of fiber, and 4 grams of protein. So there are two smart cakes in here. I guess they're just like little, little cupcakes, lemon flavor. Well, now I kind of want to try this. I think i I think we'll try this. Let me move this out of the way. I am intrigued by this. It feels so soft. I don't know how it managed to get here without getting squished. But it's perfectly fine. Look at that. Okay, now that's the front runner is the thing we're going to try at the end. See, oh, there's more. There's more. We have, oh, I love these cheese snacks. I found one recently called Moon Cheese. They sell it at Costco. I am addicted to the Moon Cheese snacks. Their cheddar cheese is 100% cheddar cheese, and they're really crunchy. They taste like Cheez-Its, and I love Cheez-Its. Okay, this this is a similar type of snack. Moon cheese looks like this, only it's orange. So it's made of 100% real cheese, all natural ingredients, 12 grams of protein, 2 grams of total carbs, and it is gluten-free. Nourishing crunchy snack made from soft buttery cheese crafted in southern Chile and dried at low temperature to preserve its original nutrients. It's a good source of protein, calcium, and phosphorus. Now there are two servings in here. One gram of carbs per serving, so 
you get one ounce. So a half ounce is one serving. And I already know these are going to be good if it's like um, moon cheese. It's these crunchy little nuggets that look like this, and they're just cheese. That's all they are. And if, yeah, I can already tell you these are probably going to be really good. Oh, oh, this looks promising. Oh, here's something we're going to have to make together. I have several things like this that I said we were going to make together. And I'm getting to it. I've just been really, <laughs> been busy with other stuff. Um, this is Keto Queen Creations, a pound cake mix. And Keto Queen Creations is a low-carb baking it's nut-free, sugar-free, and guilt-free. This is a 5.4 ounce bag of pound cake mix. Okay. Shed the pounds with our pound cake. Terrible pun, truthful statement. Either way, feel confident when creating this healthy, delicious treat. It only has 15 calories per serving. And, the, well, there are 12 servings in here. You'll need four eggs, four tablespoons of softened butter, and four ounces of softened cream cheese. And it looks like you just mix everything together uh, until smooth. You mix together the butter, cream cheese, and eggs first until smooth, and then pour in the pouch contents and mix well. And pour it in your pan and bake it 40 minutes for a loaf pan or 25 minutes for cupcakes. And the only ingredients are erith erythritol, erythritol, coconut flour, and baking powder. And this was made in New York by a woman-owned company. Yeah, I think we're definitely going to have to do this. <laughs> as soon as I can get to it, I promise. I have all of these mixes in my kitchen. I haven't forgotten. I just, I really have not had time to do it. But we're going to do it, I promise. Okay. Let's see what this is. A Stoka bar. Now, this is a pumpkin spice flavored. I believe I've received at least one other bar from them. This bar has four grams of net carbs. Um, and it, this is one serving. It's good for the paleo diet, low glycemic, keto, gluten-free, dairy-free, non-GMO, it's vegan, low-carb, and all-natural. Well, this is good for almost everybody. <laughs> um, unless you are allergic to tree nuts or peanuts. So, but other than that, we're good. So it feels nice. Actually, it feels pretty hard. It's very dense, quite heavy. This is 1.8 ounces. That'll be a nice little snack, mid-morning snack at work. So I'm looking forward to trying that from Stoka Bar. Oh, let's see. Oh, this is heavy. I wondered what was in there in here that was so heavy. It's this. Palmini Hearts of Palm Linguini. I have a product similar to this in the kitchen, but I have not tried it. Um, this is a low-carb pasta. Palmini is a pasta substitute made out of a natural plant known as Hearts of Palm. When this plant is cut and cooked in the proper way, its resemblance to regular pasta is remarkable. It is made from cultivated hearts of palm and harvested in an environmentally sustainable way. So all you do is drain it and rinse it with lots of water. Um, looks like you can add salt and just add some sauce and heat it and enjoy. You don't have to do anything else to it. And it only has 20 calories per serving and 4 grams of carbs per serving. 
gluten-free and sugar-free. And it is uh, non-GMO, vegan, and looks just like pasta. <laughs> so I do look forward to trying this. This is a, um, a six ounce package of palmini. It looks good. Um, let me, uh, let me get this box out of the way. There's only one more thing in there. All right. The last thing in there. I thought it was going to be one of the peanut butter cups, which I mentioned earlier. They're really good. This is a new one I have not seen. This is uh, Slim Fast Keto. It's a fat bomb, just like the peanut butter cups, but it's a caramel cup. So that I have not tried before. So I've never seen these. Um, not in my area anyway. It has zero added sugar. Gluten free. Has no artificial sweeteners, flavors, or colors. And is made with coconut oil MCTs. So I really like their peanut butter cup. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. It has one gram of net carbs in this package. I find the peanut butter fat bombs, uh, the peanut butter cups to be a really good filling snack in the middle of the day. So I'm looking forward to trying the caramel cup. Okay, now that's the last thing. So now I have the smart cake and it is lemon flavor. Let's see what we have in here. I just opened it up. Let's see what they look like. Oh, don't be shy. Come on out. It's, oops. There's the desiccant. You don't eat that. Well, we're only eating one, so I'll leave the other one in the package. What an adorable little thing. Look at that. I think we actually had some of these before. Now that I look at this, it looks familiar. It's a little paper cup. And it holds our lemon flavored smart cake. Now let's see. This is one serving. I can't remember. It didn't have a lot of carbs in it. But you can see it was baked in this paper cup. So just peel it away. Like that. Let's take the bottom off there. So I'm going to take a little bite of this lemon flavored smart cake. Oh wow, that's good. Hmm. There's this, um, there's this stuff in it like sugar and when you bite down on it, it's like really fine sugar and when you bite down, you kind of crunch on it. It's, it's not bad. It's just interesting. It has lots of lemon flavor, definitely. That is really good. This is really nice. Yeah, on the outside there's this fine stuff, kind of like sugar. And it's all throughout, apparently. It's not dry at all. It's, it's kind of spongy. It almost, almost has the consistency of angel food cake, I would say. I'm trying to read the uh, stuff on here. Let me see. It has no carbs. Oh, nut carbs. A lot of people have criticized me and said, oh, you don't understand carbs, but it's net carbs. It's You don't look at the total number of carbs you have to subtract for fiber and stuff. It has zero grams of net carbs. This is really, really good. I'm not kidding. This is nice. And I love sweets. My biggest problem with the low-carb diet is sweets. I am such a sucker for sweets. 
I could give up fast food, fried food, chips, all that, and be fine with it, but I love my sweets. This is the best low-carb cake stuff I have tasted, like, ever. <laughs> this is really good. And it is gluten-free, too, right there. This is a fantastic snack. I'm going to be buying more of this right here. Oh, this is so good, and it's not dry at all. I wasn't planning on eating the whole thing right now. <laughs> it's really good. Oh, there it is right there, because I'm blind, apparently. Zero carbs. No sugar, no starch. I'm going to have to check and see what other flavors they have. These are really good if you're doing low carb and you're looking for something like a cupcake or something. I would definitely give this one a try. This is great. This is really good stuff. So there we have it. That's really good. That may be my favorite thing in this whole box, but we'll wait and see. I'm going to try the other stuff first and see how I like it. But that is it for the keto box for October. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again really soon.